Airline travel for the holidays may be returning to pre-pandemic levels, but passenger behavior is not. Yeah, this is just, it's terrible. Air rage is at a peak, uh, with more flyers are becoming unruly and even at times assaulting some of the flight attendants. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Rotana digging deeper into how big of an issue this is. Judith, what do flight attendants say needs to change? Well, they tell me there needs to be harsher punishments for people who get out of control on airplanes. A survey of flight attendants found more than half of them had experienced at least five incidents of unruly passengers this year. One in five were involved in a physical altercation. This is just one of the many videos you'll find of out of control passengers on flights. It's a problem that's not going away. Paul Hartstorn Jr. is with the Association for Professional Flight Attendants. He says it's a federal offense to interfere or disrupt the duties of a crew member. We really need to set an example. But so far this year, the FAA says they've gotten more than 5,400 reports of unruly passengers. 72% were mask related incidents. Just 266 cases have resulted in penalties like fines. What can be done to stop this? Um, we're doing a lot right now that we can. We think most importantly, we need to increase the fines and also make passengers know that jail time will be involved for those that are prosecuted. Right now, the FAA can impose a fine of up to $37,000 per violation. A single incident can have multiple violations. Flight attendant unions are now working with Congress and the U.S. Department of Transportation to implement a no-fly list. It is dangerous. Um, if someone is on one airline, and abuses the flight crew or abuses other passengers on board that we've been seeing as well. They should not be able to buy a ticket on another airline two weeks later. Until stiffer penalties are put in place, Hartshorn says everyone can do their part to keep the skies peaceful. We need to have respect for one another, and we're hoping we can see that return to kindness. The head of the Department of Justice recently directed federal prosecutors to prioritize these cases. The FAA has issued more than a million dollars worth of fines for unruly passengers this year. Take a look at some of the most recent and egregious violations in my story online at CBS17.com. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News. I will just never understand why people do that on either. airplanes. All right, Judith, thank you for that update there. Bowl season means big money for two triangle college football coaches.